Welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers for a World in Crisis, on the Matrimandir. Part 1. All quotations are from the Mother. The Matrimandir wants to be the symbol of the Divine's answer to man's aspiration for perfection. Union with the Divine, manifesting in a progressive human unity. 14th August, 1970. The Matrimandir wants to be the symbol of the Universal Mother, according to Sri Aurobindo's teaching. The Matrimandir will be the soul of Auroville. The sooner the soul is there, the better it will be for everybody, and especially for the Aurovillians. 15 November 1970. I asked this question of the mother in 1971, February 16th. For the construction of the Matrimandir, will only Aurovillians do the work, or will there also be hired workers and other people of goodwill? Mother. It is preferable that the work be organized without paid labor, so that it is sure to continue in all circumstances. Now the message for the laying of the Matramandia foundation stone. Let the Matramandia be the living symbol of Orville's aspiration for the divine. 21st February 1971. Message for the beginning of work upon the Matramandia. The fraternity of collaboration, the aspiration towards unity in joy and light. Blessings. 14 March 1971. Again from Mother. As we are in a period of construction, it is imperative that the Aurovillians who live at the center work on the construction of the Matrimandir. Those who do not want to work on the Matrimandir should not live at the center. 10th April, 1971. The Matrimandir is directly under the influence of the Divine, and certainly he arranges things better than we could do ourselves. October 1971. There is only one Matrimandir, the Matrimandir of Oroville. The others must have another name. Question to Mother. Can you give some general ideas about the way in which you want the Matrimandir to be built, so that we shall have no more doubts and may build with light and confident hearts? Mother, strength, safety, durability, harmonious balance. The foundations are especially important and should be done by experts. There is room for everyone of goodwill, and for those who in all sincerity and simplicity want to offer their work, there is enough to keep them usefully occupied. 3rd November 1971 Message 
for the beginning of construction of the four foundation pillars which support the Matramandya sphere. Let Oroville be the symbol of a progressive unity. And the best way to realize this is a unity of aspiration towards the divine perfection in work and in feeling, in a consecration of the entire life. 21st February 1972 North Pillar, Mahakali, East, Mahalakshmi, South, Maheshwari, West, Mahasaraswati. Significance of the twelve underground rooms, which will radiate from the Matrimandia foundations. Sincerity, humility, gratitude, Perseverance, aspiration, receptivity, progress, courage, goodness, generosity, equality, peace. July 1972. Significance of the Twelve Gardens surrounding the Matrimandir. Existence, consciousness, bliss, light, life, power, wealth, utility, progress, youth, harmony, perfection. Message for the concreting of the Matrimandir Foundation floor. Let us all work with a growing sincerity for the manifestation of the divine truth. 3rd May, 1972. Message for the Matrimandia workers on the first day of Sri Aurobindo's birth centenary. Goodwill and peace to all. 15th August 1972 The Mother on the Matrimandir 31st December 1969 That was the first idea. There was the center and the town was organized around it. Now they are doing the very opposite. They want to build the town and put the center in afterwards. And the thing is ready to come. I have known it for a long time. It is there, gesture upward. It is waiting. A's idea is an island at the center with water around it running water, which will provide the whole water supply for the city. And when it has passed through the city, it will be sent to a pump house. And from there, it will go out to irrigate all the surrounding cultivated lands. So this center is like a small island. And on it is what we called at first the Matrimandia which I always see as a very big room, absolutely bare, receiving a light that comes from above, arranged in such a way that the light from above would be concentrated on one place where there would be whatever we want to put as the center of the city. At first we had thought of Sri Aurobindo's symbol, but we can put whatever we want. Like that, with a ray of light striking it all the time, which turns, 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 with the sun, you understand. If that is properly done, it will be very good. And then underneath, so that people can sit and meditate, 
or simply rest. Nothing. Nothing except something comfortable underneath so they can sit without getting tired, probably with some pillars which would serve as backrests at the same time, something like that. And that is what I always see. And the room should be high so that the sun can enter as a ray according to the time of day and strike the center which will be there. If that is done, it will be very good. And then for the rest, it is all the same to me. They can do what they want. At first they thought of making a place for me to stay, but I will never go there. So it is not worth the trouble. It is completely useless. And to look after this island, it was agreed that there would be a little house for B, who would like to be there simply as the guardian. And then A had arranged a whole system of bridges to link it with the other bank. And the other bank would consist entirely of gardens all around. These gardens, we thought of 12 gardens, to divide the distance into 12, of making 12 gardens, each one centered on something, a state of consciousness, and the flowers which represent it. And then the 12th garden would be in the water, around, not around, but beside the mandir, with the tree, the banyan, which is there. That is the center of the city. And there, the 12 gardens around the outside would be repeated with the flowers arranged in the same way. <laughs>